Hello and welcome to Roanoke Hobby and Electronics. We're going to take a look at the Pi Zero and go into a little more detail on uh, some of the things you can do with uh, with this tiny little computer. Um, we're going to also take a look at the uh, case that's offered by Adafruit and um, we're going to solder in some pins for the uh, GPIO general purpose input output and then we're going to use uh, those pins to connect to the Pi Zero with a um, USB to serial um, device that uh, we looked at uh, in a previous video so the Pi Zero is a little bit more of a challenge because the GPIO pins are not already soldered in and so that right off the bat this makes this uh, a little bit more of a challenge um, a little bit more of a hobby um, do-it-yourself project um, so not everyone is going to have um, the right equipment uh, you're of course you're going to need a soldering iron uh, you're going to need some uh, rosin core solder. Um, what's also handy to have is a um, magnifying glass uh, with the uh, this particular one I have here has a couple of the alligator clips for the um, helping hands to kind of hold on to things while you're uh, working with them. And um, that's also um, there in the soldering stand you have a sponge that uh, you want to moisten to uh, clean off the tip of the soldering iron and it also has like the little um, brass Brillo pad like um, thing that you can kind of clean the uh, tip of the soldering iron off with so not all those things are necessary but um, they're definitely uh, helpful to have uh, one of the uh, first tricks I learned for soldering in uh, these header pins is to use a um, breadboard put the pins in uh, long side down into the breadboard so everything is positioned exactly um, the way you need to hold it while you're doing the soldering um, with the Pi Zero there's also um, a couple of pins for the um, composite video and uh, a couple more pins that can be used for a reset button so I've added those for additional pins in the configuration so once you got the pins in place um, on the breadboard then you can uh, slide the res the uh, Pi Zero um, on top of the pins and it holds it quite nicely um, while you're doing the soldering and of course the uh, having a magnifying glass definitely helps because these are definitely uh, small and closely spaced pins so here's what it looks like um, once I was done and uh, you can see the two rows of the GPIO pins on the top uh, the two pins for the um, reset and then two more pins for the video so after I got the GPIO pin soldered in I went ahead and uh, put the uh, the case on uh, from Adafruit and as you can see it's um, they've they've pretty much thought ahead uh, everything that you need a um, little notch here so that you uh, can easily access the SD card they've uh, notched out a spot here for the uh, the micro HDMI and uh, even even included um, a little notch there for the extra pins um, if you uh, so uh, 
so chose to uh, add those in uh, flipping it over uh, they made room so once once you solder the pins in um, they had to make room for the back side of the board for the pins so it's a it's a nice little protective case um, very inexpensive and um, nicely designed there sorry for the uh, camera going out of focus okay so here we have a, uh, a close-up of the uh, of a, a Pi Zero before we put the pins in uh, here's the strip of the male pins that could uh, fit on there and this is more like the previous models but another option depending on how you want to use the uh, Pi Zero is to put in the female pins and would be a very similar procedure so it really depends on um, how you plan on using it I could see um, either one being um, being useful depending on the project so once we get the pins in place we can um, connect to the Pi Zero uh, with just a serial a USB to serial connection and uh, have use of the uh, command line to work with the uh, with the zero and um, this uh, particular um, adapter is the FTDI friend uh, from Adafruit um, we saw this in one of the uh, previous videos that we did and um, I got looking at this and uh, realized that uh, not only is this useful for connecting to uh, our Arduino that I could also use it to connect with the Pi Zero uh, because um, we have the uh, VCC 5 volts on here uh, we have ground and then we have transmit and receive serial and that's going to correspond with the pins uh, on the Pi Zero. Now this um, this graphic I have on the screen is uh, the Raspberry Pi 2 but it has the exact same uh, pins as the Pi Zero. So we um, have up there at the top we've got the 5 volts we actually have two pins for the uh, DC power 5 volts ground and then the um, transmit and receive serial pins so the uh, the only trick then is getting it wired up correctly um, you want the transmit from the uh, FTDI friend um, going to the receive on the Pi Zero and you want the receive pin on the um, adapter going to the transmit so transmit to receive receive to transmit and then the 5 volts and the um, ground so once we get everything um, plugged in correctly um, the other thing to, to consider is um, the voltage um, on the receive and transmit pins uh, all of the Raspberry Pi devices um, the GPIO pins are at 3.3 volts and it just so happens once I looked at the specifications for this um, particular adapter um, 
by default the uh, the logic level of the pins are 3.3 volts as you can see here on the back of the board um, you can uh, also change it to 5 volts if you needed to um, and the top row here you can also change the voltage um, the way that you do that is you have to um, cut through um, the connector there and then solder solder in uh, the the two pads for the other voltage and the same for the uh, logic level cut through uh, the connector there at the 3.3 and then solder uh, the two pins the two pads together to change it to 5 but um, fortunately just by default it was uh, it was exactly what I needed here for the Pi Zero. So going by the chart that we just looked at, I've connected the uh, the pins here on the GPIO headers, and we're going to go ahead and um, get this plugged in. Uh, there'll be a quick little flash of light there uh, once the uh, once that's powered up and um, you might have noticed here that I left um, the 5 volt wire off uh, just for the time being until we're actually ready um, to power up the Pi Zero um, and a word of uh, caution here um, you can also power the Pi Zero here um, from the USB, the micro USB port, but you want to do one or the other. Um, the micro USB port has some uh, safety built into it um, that protects the board, but the GPIO pins does not. So, um, you don't want to try to connect both at the same time, um, I think that would probably end up um, damaging the board. But in, in for this uh, for this demonstration, and especially since the Pi Zero uses so little current, um, we can we can supply uh, everything that it needs from the uh, from the adapter. So I'm going to be uh, doing this demonstration on um, on a Linux machine. I've also tried this uh, with um, with a Mac and uh, on Windows. Um, Linux and the Mac have a terminal um, built in. Uh, with Windows, you need a program something like Putty. Uh, P-U-T-T-Y to do your terminal emulation um, but it works it works the same way on uh, all three platforms just a, a little bit uh, different uh, way of approaching it so what we're going to do then uh, from the command line we're going to use a program called screen that uh, lets you um, create a um, virtual console and um, on Linux uh, you may not have um, you may not have screen uh, default uh, installed by default so you may have to um, install it which would just be uh, sudo apt get install screen. Uh, I've already installed it on this computer so I, I don't necessarily need to uh, to do that at this point but uh, we're going to use screen and um, on Linux then the uh, the adapter once I've plugged it in is going to show up as 
uh, under slash dev slash tty usb zero the space and then we're going to put in the the speed that we want to connect to the console at which will be um, the 115,200 so we're going to go ahead then and press enter here and then we're going to um, plug in our 5 volts and I think you can see there on the camera the uh, the green light is coming on and starting to flicker and there we have it um, once the once the Pi Zero booted up and I pressed enter um, I got my login here username Pi and then Raspberry is the default password and now I have uh, I have the console and we're going to list the uh, files and uh, directories here and uh, there you have it you have a very simple way of uh, connecting uh, to the Pi Zero without having to plug in the um, HDMI and uh, USB for the keyboard and mouse you can just uh, access it uh, from your computer um, with the USB to serial adapter. So that we're going to wrap it up for um, for part one. Uh, in the next video, um, we're going to use the uh, the same method to connect to the Raspberry Pi, and then we're going to um, configure uh, from the from the command line. We're going to configure the uh, Wi-Fi. Um, and get it, uh, get the res the Pi Zero uh, connected to the internet. So be sure and uh, visit uh, RoanokeHobby.info uh, to check out the blog and uh, as we post some more videos. And uh, next week uh, we'll have uh, part two ready. So thanks for. Uh, Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to um, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to uh, keep track of uh, when new videos have been posted. And uh, thanks again.